Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. So today I'm finally going to take you on part four of the plant tour and part four is our new greenhouse. Well, it's not a greenhouse, it's a sunroom, but we use it as our greenhouse and it's still not done. We haven't got the outside done. We'll have to do that next year. And there's a few other things that still need some work done, but it's a work in progress always, right? That's just kind of how life is. And so I'm going to ask you to just use your imagination for those parts that aren't done. So let's do it. Okay, so we go out this back door. And then we come over here and this is the entrance to the greenhouse. The doorknob is not done yet. That's one of the things you'll have to use your imagination for. And it's also not clean and tidy in here because I use it all the time. But um, come in and right to your left, we've got our cute little fish pond, which it looks like I need to clean the filter out. So I've got a bunch of plants growing next to the pond. Um, there's the Creeping Charlie that I just pruned. I've got some new starts going for the shop. It's flowering. I've never had it flower before, so that's kind of cool. Cute little pink flowers. Um, next to that, we've got the Prince of Orange Philodendron, which did nothing in my house, but since I moved it out here, it's always got new leaves coming out. And at the moment, it's got three new leaves coming out, and they're all pretty big and very orange. Um, we've got a big philodendron that's a grandchild of one of our other, or actually it's my grandchild. It's a child of one of our philodendrons. Uh, we got some, some of these plants are plants for the shop, like that homolomina back there. Um, we've got a bunch of marantas and uh, stromanthes. There's my uh, neon pothos. It started to trail a lot more since it's been out here. Uh, there's a Chinese evergreen. This is the Maria. And then this is a variegated ginger that I got from Aisha. Uh, I don't know if I can grow variegated ginger, but like the big plant she sent me kind of died off. And this is just new stuff that's coming in here. And the new stuff seems to be doing good, so we'll see. Um, this one needs a ton of water, okay? And then moving upwards, we've got some hanging plants. We've got these hooks all over the ceiling. That, and I also need to do an, another coat of paint up here, but use your imagination, like I said. Pretend it's all white and pristine looking. Um, I've got a the string bean Hoya, the Hoya Shepherdii, cool one, the Philodendron Brantianum. This one is not the easiest plant. I almost, it almost died and it really does like it out here though. It's got a ton of new growth. All the leaves are pretty small though, so I don't know if that's just because it's a young plant or because it doesn't get enough something. Let me know your experience with this plant because wow, it sure is a cool one. I love the, the leaves, the design on the leaves. Um, next to that, this is a bunch of different orchid cactus. I got a lot of different cuttings from a lot of different people and that thing is going crazy. Look how long the branches are. And maybe next year we'll get some flowers on that babe. Up here we've got the uh, 
Nepenthes, the monkey cup. That one I think got too hot this summer. I don't know. It's growing some new leaves on it, so I think it's going to be okay, but it did get a little crusty on the ends, so we'll see what happens with that one. And then um, right through that window, that's my laundry room. And right here, my husband built this box that goes over our dryer vent, and the top just like lifts off, and I can clean that out. And then on top of that, I've got all of my begonias. So this is my whole begonia collection. This is the Maculata YDI. Um, it's getting, I had to cut it off because it was getting so leggy. And right where I cut it off, it's getting all those new leaves. And let's see over here, this is the Begonia Sophia. That one's really pretty. This one doesn't get as leggy as some of my other ones do. Uh, it's got a new leaf there. It's got a lot of new leaves, actually. Really, really pretty. In its pot, it looks like a bowling ball. And then next to that, this is my... Gosh, I should have wiped the counters off as well. Pretend that they're nice and clean too, will ya? Um, this is the Begonia Dusty Miller, and I got this one from Holly Hasawaga Nelson when we met at Cactus and Tropicals. That one's super cool. And then next to that, that's a Begonia Looking Glass. Um, it is growing. It was just a little wussy, sickly one that we had in our shop, and so I kept that for myself, and... It's going, it's growing. And then next to that, this is my Begonia Lucerne, which is by far my best grower. Um, yeah, it's going crazy. Look at the size of those leaves. It's pretty amazing. Um, I keep having to put a new trellis in there because it keeps outgrowing. And I've taken cuttings and everything. So yeah, that's a really good one. Um, and then coming over here, right, this is the window to my kitchen. So while I'm doing dishes, I can just look out this window and see the lovely greenhouse. I can even crack the window so I can listen to the pond. Here is my fern that I'm so proud of. This is a Boston fern and the fronds are really long. They're almost touching the ground. It's amazing. Um, we've got a Diffenbachia. This was a little sickly one that I rescued. And it's got a lot, a lot of new growth happening. The leaves are really pretty on this one. Uh, a bunch of, a bunch of these are for the shop, but we've got more homolominas, the zebra plants, more calatheas. These are Schefflera Amades, and I really like these plants because they are chartreuse, which I love, and they're much easier to maintain than the other Schefflera's. And then um, back there, under that stool that the fern's on are a bunch of different snake plants. Um, we've got a... Xanadu philodendron, the Calathea orbifolia, which is still alive. Yay. Uh, right here is the Alocasia lowrider. This isn't mine. It actually is a shop plant. Uh, this is a new one that my husband just got. He loves these big leafed plants. This is the Alocasia stingray. It's a pretty neat one. I mean, you can see why they call it the stingray. And it's got the neat, like, kind of leopardy branches like the colocaceas have, or alocaceas, I mean. And then next to that, I've got just like a, this is actually a coat rack. 
that I use to hang plants on. Got a bunch of different plants there. And then next to that, um, this is my, this was my Peperomia shelf. Now we've got like a bunch of Hoyas on there. We've got my shingle plant. I gave that a board to grow up. I decided to move these Hoyas back out here because they definitely like it better outside. Um, up there, there's a Swiss cheese plant that's growing. That one was really sickly when I got it, so it's doing pretty good. Um, this is my terrarium. You can't see that because of the glare, but there's all the plants in there are doing really well. I actually put a little sickly David Kamingii Hoya in there that was shriveling up and it looks a lot better now. I wish you could see it. Um, down here we've got, these are two Deschidias, the Million Hearts and the New Mueller area, New Mularia. Um, this is a Hoya Art Boldiana. That was another sickly one and I actually moved it back out here, so we'll see. Um, this is the Hoya Weyedii Variegata very pretty. This one likes to get some direct sun so it gets the pink on it. However, I had it by the south window and it got a lot of burning on it. So I moved it back here because the sun is more towards the south now. And um, this is my Deschidia apple leaf. Um, this is new, but it's a cool one. Uh, this is a little variegated string of hearts. When I got that, it was so tiny. It was probably like two little, maybe three leaves, and it's grown quite a bit. Next to that is my Hoya Finlaysonii, which I had also by the south window, and it got burnt, so I had to move it back here. It'll be fine, though. Uh, next shelf, this is my Hoya Densifolia. That one's grown a ton. And when I got this Hoya last summer, I actually thought it might have been dead because it never did anything at all. And then this summer, it's just really taken off. It's gotten a ton of new leaves and these big vineys on it. So. Still not 100% sure what kind of Hoya that is, but maybe if it ever flowers, I'll be able to tell a little better. Um, next to that, this is my Hoya Tricolor. This one, the leaves have been coming in so pretty. Look how white they are. Just amazing. All the new leaves are just pure white. And well, I guess not all of them because these ones are actually a little bit variegated. So cute. This is my, not looking so hot, this is my ho or my Chinese Evergreen Annie Amani. It actually is good. I just need to put it in a bigger pot because um, the roots aren't all the way down into the pot like they need to be, but let me turn it around here. This is a really pretty... Chinese evergreen with the rounder leaves like I like. Um, next to that, this is the Hoya Australis. That one hasn't done a heck of a lot, but it's a healthy little guy. Um, down here is an, a cactus fern, a fern cactus. That was a cutting I got from Sam Heatha, and I think it's doing really well. It's grown a lot. See all that new growth on it. Uh, next to that is my Hoya Bilabata. And I'm sure someone's going to yell at me because it's like Hoya Bilabata, Hoya Bertonier, and Hoya DS70. There's a little bit of confusion, but I like the word Bilabata. It's fun to say, so I'm going to call it that. And then next to that, this is my Hoya Breviolata. 
And that one's put on a lot of growth and the leaves are just shinier and prettier since I brought it outside. Um, down here, this is a Hoya Comingiana. Uh, this is the Hoya Chelsea. This one is a Stapelia that I also got from Sam Hitha. And it didn't do anything for a long time until just recently it got those little leaves on top. So that's a good sign, right? This is a little plant that I got from Chris Chrissy in Louisiana. Or not Chris Chrissy, her name's Christy Bim. I'm thinking of your Instagram name. But that's a little uh, Thanksgiving cactus. Love those. Um, I've got an orchid down here that's really, I don't pay much attention to it, and you can tell. This is, I had a nice big philodendron dubii, or dubium, that I got from Linda May, and all the leaves died. They were big, but I've still got that little guy coming up over there, so I'm hopeful. <laughs> It looks funny, that little tiny sprout in this humongous pot, but it did have a lot of roots on it, so we shall see. Uh, next to that, this is my cast iron plant, which really doesn't do anything, but we'll see. I love this pot that it's in. Next to that, this is my philodendron uh, silver stripe. I've got a little arbor in there that it's starting to trail up, so that's exciting. And I also love the pot that that one's in. Um, right here, this is, this used to be my dog's beds right here. I had it in the house, but now it's a big, messy bunch of shelves that have my equipment and stuff that I use for sending out plants, repotting plants, tying up plants, all kinds of stuff. And it gives us a nice surface for when Rich is doing the shipping. That's Rich's shipping area over there. And for when I'm working with plants. Okay, we're gonna skip over Rich's shipping area mostly because, well, I won't, I'll show you. So he's got all of his boxes up there and everything he needs, the radio. We like to play nice music for our plants. Yeah, a bunch of boxes, little rug for him to stand on. Um, and then next to that, we've got a bunch of shelves here by this east window where we keep a lot of the plants for the shop. Um, and then coming over here, we've got we keep like all of our perlite and soil and that back there. This is a uh, Kalanchoe Blossfeldiana, I think. I also got this one from Christy Bim and it's grown a ton. There's my little uh, elephant bush. Um, I actually just got these in for the shop and they don't look great so I'm working on those too. I'm just gonna come back here because I can't show you all of the plants but this is a south these are south windows here and I've got a lot of different plants on let me scoot back here a lot of different plants all around this area some of them are for the shop some of them are mine let me show you some of my favorites that are my own. This is my Portulaca Maraca cluster. Super cute, it's growing new clusters down there. So it likes a lot of sun and to be watered about an inch every week or so. This is my uh, Hoya Multiflora. This one grew a lot of um, peduncles this year and a lot of flowers too. Um, the dragon, dragon tree, the watch chain plant, um, this Hoya affinis is amazing. It's grown so much. That's a really fast growing Hoya, you guys. And I really like the leaves on it too. 
when it flowers, it'll have cute little red flowers. So I'm excited for that. This is my Hoya latifolia. It was getting a new leaf and then it just fell off. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but it's growing. So um, back there, you can see it has a flower on it. Let me show you this, you guys. This is pretty crazy. This is my uh, lifesaver plant. And uh, look at that flower. It's been getting flowers like crazy. All, all summer it, it's had a flower on it. And they don't stink. Everyone told me they stink. So I don't know if my nose is just really stuffy. I know it is. But, yeah, that is like out of this world. So that's a lifesaver plant. This is my Hoya carii right here. I've got a splash and a regular green variety in there. And that one's growing a lot. Wow, this light really sucks. I'm sorry. Let me... Back here, got another... Um, Euphorbia that's growing like crazy. A couple succulents, some uh, other succulents. Um, this is my Hoya Abovada variegata, which you can't see because of the sun. Sorry. Um, over here, I've just got, let me scooch over. Oh, let me show you these. Up here, I've got a Hoya Matilda hanging and uh, the Hoya Retusa. And then over here, I've got, what are those called? Uh, Thana Capensis. I've got a couple pots of those. And then um, this is a Rapidophora Panama that's growing pretty fast out here and I've got this cute little wicker cabinet that I've got some plants on this is my um, mandula pothos I brought my Milky Way out here I got an aloe plant from Pam This is my Hoya Australis Lisa. And then this is a Peperomia that I got from Linda May. I think it's like Glub, Glabella or something like that. Linda May, correct me. And then over here, I've just got a shelf with a bunch of plants for the shop. Um, I do keep some of the Hoyas in this box, like when we import them, just to keep a little bit more humidity for them. And then I've got my Hoya Crinkle 8 there, a Hoya Wayetii. There's my Hoya, my Hindu Rope Hoya. Love that plant. Um, this is the bird of paradise that my daughters gave me for my birthday. And I know it looks silly. I had to cut the leaves off because they got, I took it outside and they got sunburned and windburned. And, but it does have this new leaf right here that's about to unfurl. And another one. Where did it go? Oh, right over here. Um, there's my, what are you called, plumeria. It never flowered. Um, we've got the as uh, arrowhead, the variegated arrowhead. It had some green in the pot as well, and you can see the green grows much faster than the variegated part does. Um, over here and I might need to move that one now that the sun's moved over there because a lot of the leaves are starting to like brown a little bit like this one so but I know that's just the nature of the white 
leaves, so not sure what I'll do on that. And uh, next to that is my Raven ZZ that I got from Aisha. Thank you, Aisha. It's grown a lot, huh? It really a good plant. And then over here, um, this is my variegated, my spilled milk syngonium, that, or not syngonium, aglionema. That one's grown quite a bit. Uh, this is my lickety split philodendron. And this was really pathetic. Like all the leaves looked like, well, there was only two and they looked like that. But the new leaves, since I moved it by the south window, have been coming in quite a bit. And they do look a lot better. So I think he's going to be okay. And then behind that is my cordyline, which I also had outside. And the leaves burned and got blown. And so I cut most of them off. And it is growing some new leaves on every cane. So, yeah, that one should be okay, too. And this is an orange Schlumbergera that has grown a ton. It really likes it here by the window. Um, this is my cardboard palm. That one's grown a lot. And it also really likes it by the window. And then this is my lovely Florida Beauty Dracaena. I love this plant. It's so pretty and it's grown a lot too. Let me tell you a little bit more about this. Um, this is the door that we got. It's nice because it's got the windows on it. And then we wanted the shiplack look and shiplack is freaking expensive. So we just got some like those cedar boards that you use to make fences out of privacy fences and my husband cut them and did that and we've obviously still got some finish work to do and then there's um, just windows all around give you a 360 here this room is used all the time so like I said it's kind of a mess oh I better show you the fishies can see them all swimming out there. It feels so nice in here. Like during the winter, it's gonna be awesome to just come sit out here and have hopefully some sunshine on you. Listen to the fountain, look at the plants. And then um, the floor is just, it's cement that I stained and painted and put a clear coat on so it looks kind of shiny. I like it. I really like the natural like rustic look and I really should have cleaned up in here a little bit. I'm kind of embarrassed but oh well just keeping it real right. Um, we've also got these little carts that we can put plants on and wheel them around. Um, we've got another one right here. I'm going to be doing a video about semi-hydro, and that's what we're using this shelf for. So stay tuned for that. So I think that is about it. What do you guys think of the sunroom? Um, other than it's dirty. <laughs> this is a cute thing that I bought from Nicole Vega's daughter's Etsy shop. She makes these cute macrame hangings and plant holders and um, she's just a little girl and I love it when kids have the entrepreneurial spirit so I'm going to put her the name of her shop down on the screen right here and you should go check her out um, this mine's actually it got a little bit wet so it's got the more um, rustic antique look which I really like. 
uh, when I got it, it it was clean. Hey guys, well thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this plant tour and that you like our green room and if you guys have any comments, anything you want to tell me, just leave them in the comments. I love to hear your comments. I hope y'all have the best day of your life and remember to plant on.